Uh, Wyndham, what's going on with your back? I, I know you grunted on the first tee shot, kind of put your hand on it. It looks like it's still bugging you. Yeah, I've grunted on almost every shot. Um, it's kind of been nagging me all week, and then I was in the trailer warming up, and I threw a med ball, and it just went out on me. And I ended up only getting about 20 minutes of warm up this morning because I was doing whatever I could to try to get it to be able to go. And I almost, I almost withdrew before uh, we played, but I just told my caddy, I was like, hey, let's just see what we can do out there. And uh, you know, I was fortunate that the break happened. Uh, so glad we kept playing. And even then, I mean, it was pretty brutal all day. But I, my, you know, my short game of putting helped me out. So, did you get it worked on during the break? Yeah. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, um, but I mean it is what it is right now. I'm hoping that some rest and maybe some more work on it tonight will, you know, be able to go tomorrow because <laughs> it'd be hard to do this again tomorrow. So ho hopefully I can get it, get it okay. Have you had back issues in the past? No, I really haven't. I, th I mean this is a muscle throw up. It's nothing like you know disc related down low. It's just kind of mid back. Um, it just is so tight and you know it's really hard for me to. I can kind of turn this way, but as I come through, I mean, I'm like trying as hard as I can to do whatever I can to hit the ball. Um, warming up, I was hit seven rounds, like 120 yards, and I normally hit it 180, 190. So, uh, you know, I don't have all my power, and I kind of save it up, and then I hit it as hard as I can on, on a shot, and then relax, and then do it again. So, I, what hole were you on when they stopped play this morning? Uh, middle of hole two. Did you have anything, a ball move or anything like that in your group or with you? No, on the, the first hole, the first green, I mean, it was just crazy. Like, just as far as, I mean, Jordan's putt, he played 30 feet of break, unbelievable two putt. And then um, Alex, I mean, had a, probably a 30-footer, and I bet you he hit it four feet, a, a four-foot putt that went all the way to the hole. And then I had about a 15-footer that I bet you I hit a foot that went all the way to the hole. So it was just it was just very extreme, and then, you know, we weren't to the really hard holes yet. Um, but, I mean, seeing some of the pin placements and how they played after we went back and how tough they were, they would have been, I mean, yeah, it was it was definitely unfair, I think, earlier, for sure. Did you notice, were they softer in the afternoon, the greens? <laughs> I mean, maybe when we started, as we were finishing up, we were downwind on 12, 13, and 14. I mean, I was landing... 60 degree wedges 15 paces short of the flag and going past the flag so I mean that's not that's still really firm was it possible to hit the 14th green today I don't I we honestly uh, Jordan and I were talking about it and Alex I mean we said over under five guys that held the green I mean it might not even be that many I, we all landed nine irons and eight irons as high as you could middle of the green and it bounced over so I don't thanks. think so good luck tomorrow thanks guys